Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to talk about the importance of staying outside and the footwork that's going to allow you to explode towards your target so you can get that strike. Big thing whenever you're hitting the bag, whenever you're hitting the mitts, whenever you're sparring is range. How far you are away from the target. When you're on the bag, the important thing to know is that this is the other person. This represents your uh, the, the target that you're hitting or the other person that you're in the ring with, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna understand that as long as you can strike it, or as long as you can hit this person, they can hit you. So this right here is striking distance, okay? So to stay within this range is silly, okay? Because this right here is hitting range. You're all, this is where all the punches, all the punches fly. It doesn't make any sense to stick to this range whenever you're practicing on the bag. So whenever you're practicing on the bag, you have to, whenever you're training, you have to train realistically you always want to be outside of striking range and push off your back foot to explode in and strike okay so here you're outside striking range you can't touch this person or the bag they can't touch you so this is where it usually happens this is where everybody usually is you're out until you're in. The thing that's gonna make the difference is how fast you go in there, okay? So all you gotta do is you have to make sure, I always say, put your, be up on your back, your back heel, your heel off the ground. So you are pushing off the ball of your foot into your target. So here, it just depends on how fast you can do it or how tricky you can do it, okay? So you can be here, push off and jab, all right? But you have to do it fast as possible. It has to be so fast they almost, well, they don't see it coming, all right? So here, back foot is up, your hands are up, you push off and you jab. Move around, make sure you stay out of distance. And then you go in. After you've done that for a little bit, now you can, you know, start working the bag with practicing more combinations. Let's take a jab cross hook. So here, you're outside of distance once again. And then you just go in. And then move around. Make sure you stay out of distance until you go in. Move around. Same thing. The whole thing is to stay out of trouble, go in, inflict as much damage as you can, and get back out, out of the way of trouble. A really good drill to do in order to practice this is uh, do like a progression. So you start with the very basic thing, which is the footwork, hands up. So you want to do just like this. You want to practice getting in and getting out. So getting in means pushing off your back foot. Getting out means pushing off your front foot that way, just like that. So you just want to practice that. So here. So what's the next step in the progression? Now, we're gonna throw a jab with that. You wanna get used to 
getting in fast and getting out because if you really think about it, no one's just going to stand there with you in striking distance. They're just they're trying to step stay away from you at times as much as you're trying to do that at times. So you have to spring in, spring out. Next step in the progression, we're gonna add a cross. So here, we, we, we pushed in, we jabbed, we pushed back. Now we're gonna add a cross to that. And then back. Next step of the progression. Now we're going to add a hook. Next step of the prog progression. Now we're going to add a cross. So it's going to be jab, cross, hook. Cross, then back out. So here's what you do when you're working on a combination. Let's pick a combination. Um, we just did the jab, cross, hook, cross. But you can make the combination as long as possible. You can make it jab, cross, hook, cross, slip, cross, hook. And just start from the bottom. Hair, 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 nose, boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Start from the, from the ground, work your way up until you have the full combo. But what that's going to have you doing is, while you're not thinking about it, it's going to have you moving in, moving out, moving in, moving out, moving in, moving out. And you're constantly going to be doing that, depending on how long you make the combination. But you're constantly going to be Moving and striking, moving out. Moving and striking, moving out. And it's a good way to work that in to your muscle memory, to, to just work that into your system and get used to it. Whenever you're sparring, you get in, you inflict as much damage, you get out, you stay clean. Practice like how you wanna perform because you will perform how you practice. The more you do it, the better you'll be at it.